Well, I picked up this nifty Accurate weather station, and I'm going to install this in the uh, RV. Originally, I wanted to get a, kind of a deluxe one. You know, they've got the kind that uh, have a, a rain gauge on them, and they they also will do things like uh, wind direction and wind speed and those kind of things. But the problem with that is you got to put a big uh, honking sensor outside and when you're driving down the road down the highway uh, you don't want that sensor to get damaged by going 60 65 miles an hour you know and having that wind speed indicator spinning like crazy so i kind of relented on that one because you'd have to basically you know have the sensor that's detachable every time you um, uh, park your rv and also you know if you had the wind direction of course you'd have to point the sensor to north or wherever the uh, alignment mark is so I kind of backtracked a little bit on the Super Deluxe one and just picked up this one. And this one actually will do a pretty good job. Uh, I had, when we had a boat, I had a smaller version of this, not quite as comprehensive. And actually, it was fairly accurate. Very surprising how it could predict uh, what was going to happen the next day. Of course, you got to let it set and run for maybe two weeks or so before it gets that accurate. But it is pretty accurate nonetheless. Well, this one will do inside and outside temperature, uh, inside outside humidity, and it'll give you a two and three days away predictions on the weather. And the way it does that is it tracks the relative humidity and temperature and those kind of things. And also, uh, it gives you a history tracking of uh, what the uh, temperature and humidity and and things like that have been over the last few days. So, it's uh, I think gonna suffice for our needs just for in the RV. And the good thing is, is the external sensor I can really mount about anywhere. And so I don't have to mount it up on the top and I don't have to worry about lining it to north. And I don't have to worry about, you know, spinning the, the anemometer off uh, its bearings and those kind of things when I'm going down a highway. So, uh, all in all, I think this will work out fine. So, uh, not a real big project, but, uh, you know, we'll just install it. It's battery operated, it's wall mount, and I think I may mount it under the TV in the main salon. So uh, we'll get started on this uh, project. Well, I think I found a suitable place for the outside sensor, and I mounted it to uh, the inside of the trailer hitch. So it's mounted sort of out of the way. Hopefully we won't get too much rolled salt on it. It is rather waterproof, or at least water resistant. So we'll see if that's a suitable location. Well, at the expense of drilling another hole in the RV, putting a screw in to mount this thing, uh, I've got it mounted. So uh, it's kind of centrally located. Um, we can see that I got a real good signal there on the uh, remote sensor, so I think it's going to be pretty cool.